Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Sino US relations have always been in a state of ambivalence and tension. It's undeniable that the total trade volume between China and the US remains enormous. As the world's first and second largest economies, these two countries face two major economic challenges in the future. First, is there still the possibility of economic easing between China and the US, and indeed between China and the West as a whole, and is there a chance that economic conflict will transition to normal cooperation? Second, is it possible to provide a timeline for when the economies of China, the US, and indeed the entire West can truly return to a legitimate and normal track? The US understands that blockading China would impact its own economy and lead to a reduction in wealth, but it is willing to suffer losses in order to fulfill its strategic goal of hindering China's industrial upgrading. However, this momentum won't last forever. Once the US realizes it has no way of preventing China's industrial upgrading, it will relent and cease its imposition of a blockade. Once the US realizes that its goals of blockade and prevention have completely failed and are unattainable, it will no longer engage in self-defeating actions. Subsequently, its economic strategy will shift from blockade to normalcy. Even if it doesn't actively cooperate, it will gradually return to a normal level of economic exchange. Currently, China's only weakness in chip production lies in lithography machines. These machines are incredibly complex to manufacture, incorporating the world's most advanced components and the most sophisticated processing technology. They are considered the jewels in the crown of precision manufacturing. Even countries with a deep industrial heritage like Germany can only provide Zeiss lenses as a companion piece and cannot independently produce entire lithography machines. While the Netherlands is a major lithography machine producer, it primarily handles assembly, relying on global supply for the majority of parts. Once China masters the ability to independently produce 5 nanometer lithography machines, it will represent a complete breakthrough in high-end manufacturing. Manufacturing 5 nanometer lithography machines requires resolving the technological challenges of tens or even hundreds of thousands of high-precision components. This demonstrates that China has achieved a high level of expertise in many aspects of high-end manufacturing, making it difficult for the world to halt its progress in this field. From a technical perspective, the most advanced lithography machines currently available have reached the 1 nanometer level, but 5 nanometer machines are on the same level. The difference is merely an order of magnitude, the reduction in quantity is merely a quantitative change, a qualitative leap is yet to come. Once China achieves mass production of 5 nanometer lithography machines, leveraging its existing technological expertise and industrial foundation, mastering 1 nanometer lithography machines will be a matter of time. Just as a country capable of producing 60 nanometer lithography machines is bound to be able to produce 40 nanometer models, they will all be at the same technological level. Once China develops its own 5 nanometer lithography machine, the US chip blockade and even AI blockade against China could completely collapse. Furthermore, the manufacturing level of these 5 nanometer lithography machines is already cutting edge globally, surpassing even aircraft engines. If China achieves breakthroughs in 5 nanometer lithography technology, then breakthroughs in aircraft engines will become a piece of cake. It's like saying that in a weightlifting competition, the winner of the clean and jerk must be a skilled push up athlete. Once China breaks new ground in this world-leading high-end manufacturing sector, it will become even more difficult for the West to stop China in other, less technically challenging, high-end manufacturing fields. There are some unreliable online claims about the current state of China's lithography machine development, such as that China is already capable of producing 5 nanometer, 7 nanometer, 
and even 0.5 nanometer lithography machines. However, according to some authoritative experts, China is currently focusing on lithography technology above 20 nanometers. Those below 20 nanometers are still in the research stage, and the development of 5 and 7 nanometer lithography machines requires further effort. Furthermore, while China now has some quantum chips, these primarily utilize quantum properties and techniques for specialized computing. While fast and powerful, they cannot be used as general-purpose chips for mobile phones and other applications, nor can they handle most mathematical processing tasks, and they cannot replace traditional high-end chips. Therefore, China must continue its efforts in traditional lithography, ultimately achieving higher levels of precision and sophistication to reach new heights. Overcoming the technical challenges of 5 nanometer lithography requires the concerted efforts of the entire nation. Domestic companies using lithography machines must also consciously support the development of domestically produced equipment. Even though domestically produced lithography machines currently fall short of internationally advanced levels, both to comply with national policies and for the future development of Chinese companies, China should create a better market environment for domestically produced lithography machines and actively support their growth. From a business perspective, supporting domestic lithography equipment is actually a way to boost their own development. On the one hand, if they continue to rely on imported equipment, they may face long waits when global supply is tight, disrupting production schedules. On the other hand, foreign manufacturers may discriminate between prices for customers in different countries, potentially leading to higher procurement costs for Chinese companies and increasing production pressure. Only by developing their own lithography equipment can all domestic companies using it reduce costs and enhance the international competitiveness of their products. Otherwise, if companies in countries like Japan sell lithography equipment at significantly lower prices than Chinese ones, Chinese products will lose their price advantage in the international market, suffering a disadvantage against overseas competitors and finding it difficult to compete. Beyond lithography equipment, there are many other avenues for producing high-end chips. Chinese scientists are also actively researching new chip materials and manufacturing processes. I believe that once these technologies achieve breakthroughs, they will have a significant impact on the high-end chip manufacturing landscape dominated by the West.